Hey Internet, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. You know how the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results? Well, I'm dyeing my hair with cheap hair dye again! If you aren't aware of the story, I tried back in October, I think, to dye my hair with hair dye that was really cheap from the store and it went really badly because it only dyed my roots and like a little bit of the rest of my hair and you can still kind of see the remnants of that. But I decided that I wanted darker hair for Christmas and the, I guess, time afterwards. So I bought even more cheap hair dye. So I figured I would bring you along with me to share in the adventure. And if it turns out really horribly, no one's gonna ever see this footage. <laughs> so first, we're gonna do a real attractive parting of my hair in the middle and separating it and doing all the things. Some of you may have never dyed your hair before. Some of you have never even seen someone get their hair dyed before. What I will tell you is that no one looks attractive with hair dye in their hair. So like, I guess, fair warning. I try to tell you guys, this is an awesome look. Okay, so next we're gonna put on the crazy gloves that are just like the worst things in the world and they come in the package. Like these are actually attached to the instructions, which by the way, I need to kind of get those out. And I need scissors. Good. So if you've never done this before, you always get two bottles. You get, what is this, developer and then the colorant and you have to mix them together. This one actually kind of smells good, which never happens. So once you've poured that all in, you get to shake it. So this hair color is supposed to just be a dark brown, so I'm not going for the red that I was going for before. Just a typical brown, but darker. I dyed my hair like since I was in high school, since like the beginning of being in high school, maybe even before that. I started with highlights and then I realized that I liked my hair when it was darker. Uh, and so since then I've been dyeing it that way. I've had a variety of different things, but never anything super crazy, like never anything crazier than like a typical red hair dye. I did do a blonde streak when I was in college and then another one after I got out of college. One time when I was in high school, I dyed the whole entire underside of my hair dark um, and then had highlights on top, so that was fun. So I'm supposed to have parted my hair into four equal sections, which like, I guess. And then start using the applicator tip after mixing well. So we're just gonna kinda go through here. I can't wait for people to watch this and be like, oh God, Abby, you're doing it all wrong. Just all wrong. I'm also waiting for someone to be like, Abby, this is why your hair dye didn't work. Cause you just like screwed everything up. I'm prepared for that, like that's fine. If that's what happens, that's what happens. In case you were wondering, yes, I am single. It's literally so hard to do the back and I'm just so nervous this time. I just want to make sure to get everything. My other camera ran out of me, but I'm done applying it and it looks so dark. Oh gosh. I think it'll be fine, but yeah. So I have to wait for like a half hour. So I missed some. I'm so, so gross. So we'll see if I managed to actually get it all this time. <laughs> okay, it has been a half hour. It is time to go wash this all off my head. Who knows how long it's gonna take, but hopefully it worked. Please say it worked. I want it to work. Well, I did it. It happened and this is what it looks like. It's actually what I wanted. Uh, other than like a few little spots where the red is still peeking through, it looks fine and I like it. I typically go dark during the winter, so this works out well. But maybe not so much insanity. Maybe this time like I actually figured out what I was supposed to be doing. We'll find out uh, when it completely dries and like goes through a couple washes. But overall, I'm excited about it. I can't believe I did a video about dyeing my hair. Who am I? Am I going to be a beauty vlogger now? The answer to that is no, just like <laughs> spoiler alert.
Before I let you go, I wanted to put a few clips in here about my day. I went on a field trip with my students, with my senior students, and we went to the simulation center of the Johns Hopkins Medical Research Center or hospital. I'm not exactly sure like what it's a part of. It's probably Johns Hopkins Hospital. They got to do different simulations and see like the cool mannequins that they use to train nurses and doctors and all of these different things and it was a lot of fun. Because I talked recently about how sometimes you don't get to see both sides, this is the teacher side of Abby. Now I had to be really careful and not use any students faces because I'm not exactly sure what the deal is with that but basically I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be like able to see the students so that's that. Also at the end of the day I went to happy hour with two of my co-workers which you haven't met yet and they wanted to be in a video. Jordan really wants to be in a video. <laughs> this is Jordan and this is Amy. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and joining me on this interesting journey that I was pretty terrified about but ended up being uh, pretty cool. Do you like to change your appearance up a lot? I know that several people have already said that they don't really dye their hair, but like, do you like to get your hair cut drastically? I don't know, what do you do to express yourself? Cool. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.